Welcome back to the Battle Oil Drift Car channel. Today we are going to show you guys how to install the Battle Oil Drift Car steering shaft assembly. If you guys haven't got your own Battle Oil Drift Car yet, be sure to check them out at our website at www.batteroil.com. We'll leave a link in the description down below. So here are all the parts and hardware you'll need to assemble the front end. Let's go over all the hardware that you need for this install. So we're going to start off with the wheel studs wheel lug nuts, wheel washer, M8 by 30 bolts, M8 by 45 bolts, M8 by 50 bolt, some M8 washers, M8 nuts, 3 8 nuts, half inch bolts, half inch washer, half inch nuts, knuckle bearing, 5 8 washer, 5 8 spacer, M5 bolts, M5 nuts, and M6 allen bolt. Let's go over the tools. You'll need a set of wrenches from 8 millimeter, 10 millimeters, 12 millimeters, 13 millimeters, 14 millimeters, 18 millimeters, and 19 millimeters. As well as a set of Allen keys. And then for the sockets, you'll need a 13 millimeter socket and 10 millimeter socket, open crescent wrench, razor blade, and here's an optional screwdriver with Allen bits. It will definitely make it a lot easier if you guys have it, but don't worry if you don't have it. And then lastly, you'll need a drill with a carbide bit set or Dremel. All right, first we're gonna grab the steering shaft and on the steering wheel mount, we're gonna locate one of the lower bolts and we're gonna grab a piece of tape to mark the center of the steering shaft. So first you're gonna grab a steering shaft bushing and we're gonna insert it from the other end of the steering shaft. After you got the bushing in, now we're gonna insert a collar. Next, you're gonna grab a measuring tape and you're gonna measure from the base of the steering shaft and you're gonna measure up to 11 inches and that's where you're gonna position the collar. Another tip is also you wanna center the collar to the center point that we marked just to give it a nice clean look. After you got the collar positioned, go ahead and secure the collar by fastening the bolts locate the pitman arm and another collar and we're gonna disassemble one of the collars so you can use to secure the pitman arm once you separated the collar we're gonna use the one without the threaded holes next grab the collar and attach it to the pitman arm and loosely fasten the allen bolts Next, grab the pitman arm and insert it into the steering shaft. Make sure the pitman arm is on top. Next, grab a tape measure and measure from the base of the steering shaft and measure it to three inches. And that's where you're gonna position the top of the collar. Make sure you align the threaded hole on the collar that's holding the pitman arm to the center point that we marked on the steering shaft. After you align the pitman arm, go ahead and fasten the two Allen bolts to secure the pitman arm. Go ahead and grab a 3 8 nuts and the M6 Allen bolt. And you're gonna insert the 3 8 nuts into the M6 Allen bolt and then you're gonna thread the Allen bolt into the pitman arm collar. After you insert the bolts, go ahead and fasten the Allen bolts to secure the pitman arm. You're going to grab the steering column and you're going to insert it into the steering bushing. And then next, you're going to grab a M8 by 50 bolt and you're going to insert it into the steering column. Next, you're going to grab a M8 nut and you're going to loosely fasten the steering column. So you're going to grab the steering shaft bearing and we're going to disassemble it. And then you're gonna grab the top hat of the steering shaft bearing and you're gonna insert it into the steering shaft. And then you're gonna grab the bearing and also insert that into the steering shaft. Make sure the bearing sits flush with the base of the steering shaft. Next, you're gonna fasten the Allen key on the bearing to secure the bearing. There are two Allen keys, so make sure you tighten them both. 
step is you're gonna grab two M8 by 30 bolts along with two washers and two M8 nuts. And then we're gonna go ahead and move over to the cart. Next, we're gonna go to the front end of the battery oil drift cart and we're gonna mount the base of the steering shaft bearing to the mounting hole. There are three different adjustments, but we recommend starting with the first one. Next, you're gonna grab the steering shaft assembly and you're gonna mount it to the cart. You're gonna secure the steering shaft bearing with the M8 hardware. Before we tie in the steering column, make sure you center the steering column with the center of the battery tray. Next, we're gonna disassemble the two collars and we're gonna use the threaded side only to secure the steering column. So next, you're gonna use the threaded side of the collar and you're gonna secure the steering column with the two Allen bolts. Make sure you do it on both sides. Just want to reiterate before you tighten the collars on the steering column, you want to make sure the steering bushing is flush with the collar and also the steering column is center to the battery tray. So after you fasten the lower steering column collars, you're gonna to go to the upper steering column bolts and you're gonna go ahead and tighten that. Now that your steering shaft assembly is complete, make sure the pitman arm is aligned to the center mark that we made earlier so your steering wheel is straight. If it's not centered, you wanna make adjustments now and how to make adjustments is go ahead and loosen these bolts and you pivot it until it's aligned to the center lower bolt of the steering wheel mount. And another note, if you do make adjustments, make sure you keep the spacing the same. So you wanna go ahead and make a measurements between here and here and make sure you keep that spacing the same if you make adjustments to the pitman arm. We're gonna mount the steering wheel. So grab a steering wheel and the steering wheel cover and then followed by grab a set of the M5 bolts and the M5 nuts. Go ahead and mount the steering wheel and insert the M5 bolts to secure the steering wheel. After you inserted all the M5 bolts to the steering wheel, secure the steering wheel with the M5 nut. we're gonna install the knuckles, the hubs, and the tie rod. Here are the hardware that you need. You're gonna need two half inch bolts. You're gonna need four knuckle bearing, two M8 by 30 bolts, three M8 by 45 bolts, five M8 washers, five M8 nuts. You also need half inch nuts and half inch washers. And then you'll also need the wheel studs, lug nuts, and wheel washer. So, First, you're gonna insert the knuckle bearing on the top side and lower side. Bearing doesn't fit. You may need to use a Dremel to clean up the inner side to make clearance for the bearing. And then you're gonna go ahead and slide in the knuckle and insert the half inch bolt through. Don't forget to include a washer on top. Then you're gonna insert a washer and nut on the bottom side to secure the knuckle. Next, fasten the nut and bolt. You don't wanna over tighten it. You wanna just tighten it enough until there's no play 
and the knuckle can still spin freely. If it's a little too tight, just back it off ever so slightly until the knuckle spins freely. After that, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna grab a M8 by 30 bolt and you're gonna insert it from the bottom of the knuckle and then secure it with the M8 nut. This is gonna be used as a stopper so you don't over center. You're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna assemble the tie rod. So you're gonna grab a M8 by 45 bolt and you insert it through one end of the tie rod and then followed by another washer and then connect it to the other tie rod and then secure it with a M8 nut. Then go ahead and tighten the nut and bolt. We're gonna go ahead and connect the tie rod to the cart. We're gonna insert the bolt through the second hole on the pitman arm. You're gonna go ahead and secure it with a washer and an M8 nut. Then you're gonna tighten the nut and bolt on the pitman arm. Next, we're gonna connect the tie rod to the knuckle. First, you're gonna grab a M8 hardware. You're gonna insert it through the tie rod. Followed by, you're gonna insert a 3 8 nuts and then insert three washers. And then you're gonna go ahead and insert the bolt through the knuckle. We recommend starting off with the second hole. Go ahead and secure it with a washer and M8 nut. Repeat the following steps on the other side and we're gonna move on to mounting the hub. So to begin installing the hub, insert a 5 8 spacer into the knuckle. After that, you can start inserting the wheel hub into the knuckle. Lastly, insert two 5 8 brass washer and secure the wheel hub with the half inch nylon nut. Now you can begin fastening the nut don't over tighten the nut because uh, you only want to tighten until there is little to no play because you still want the bearing to spin freely on the wheel hub. If you did over tighten it, just back it off ever so slightly until the bearings spin freely. So you're going to thread in the wheel studs into the wheel hub. Make sure you thread in the long side of the thread into the wheel hub. Make sure to hand thread the wheel studs as much as you can and then go ahead and mount the wheels. You're going to secure the wheels with the, the wheel washer and wheel nuts. Once you got the wheels mounted on, now we can work on the alignment. To start off with the alignment, you're gonna go ahead and loosen the inner nuts on both sides until it meets the inner tie rod. Now you're gonna go ahead and spin the tie rod in either directions until the knuckle looks visually aligned with the frame and then on also before you do the alignment make sure the pitman arm is completely centered the way to check to see if the alignment is zeroed out on the non-front brake knuckle is that you can measure the distance between the front side of knuckles and match it to the rear if it's the same number then that means your wheels are zeroed out After you confirm that it's been zeroed out, you can go ahead and tighten the inner nuts to secure the alignment. Go ahead and do that on both sides. Okay. 
After your wheels are zeroed out, you are complete with the install.